Hello LEGO fans, Jarv Bricks here with another update. So it's not going to be a long update as I've not been up in the loft much recently uh, due to work and other things getting in the way. So one of the things that I have done is created a lot of space along this strip here. So I've got that little strip of market stalls and I've just spanned them around to face this way rather than the other and the idea is I'm going to put some smaller buildings along there and make it a little bit of a market street um, but we'll see how that comes along um, you notice as I panned around I've put a road in here and I intend to have some smaller buildings along the back there I've moved the town hall and the hotel over to this area and the reason for that uh, is better shown from the other side so give me a second so from this side you can see it was next to the train station and as the train comes in I didn't even push that I just did it on its own um, so as the train comes in it was hitting the bank which was this building here uh, because the base plate comes right up to the edge of the uh, train track so I wanted something with a bit of a, a pavement on the outside so a corner building made sense I will put a little bit of a, a, a building over here just as maybe a little bit of a facade and um, just so you can't see it as much and um, the bank unfortunately is on the corner which I don't really want it there as um, it goes right up to the edge of the road so in order to walk up that street you have to actually cross the road first so that's something I will address I haven't actually got that many corner buildings anymore uh, I used to have more corner buildings than middle buildings and now it's the other way around uh, especially now I've moved both my corner buildings there the town hall and the hotel so uh, the reason for this little maneuver is just because down, down the middle of the buildings here before there was a strip of 16 studs that just wasn't getting used so by closing those buildings together I've created all that space on the other side of the road there near the market so uh, I will be filling that up shortly it's coming around this side watch where I walk in I've got boxes on the floor I apologize if shaky cam popped out then I've just put the friends um, central perk there so I could have Jim's diner next door as that is a corner building I was going to put suds and not I was going to say suds and spuds but it's soap and suds sign on the side of there but I decided to put it on the side of the apartment building over there I thought it looks really nice I have got uh, another one of those signs which will be somewhere in the city and I want to make suds and suds a bit more prominent as well as it's it's that building there which you never see because it's facing the other way so over here I um, move a little bit and that's because I where the um, the rocket and the hot dog stand is that needs to be a 32 by 32 base plate in order to put my new police station mock there uh, I want it to be relatively tall up to about four floors I think um, I'll show you what I've got in that in a moment but in order to do that I'm just gonna have to make some changes here uh, this building is probably going to have to go and um, I will try to utilize it somewhere else I might put it on that strip there I don't know yet um, it will have to budge over so I'm going to get rid of the little water garden from there um, put it somewhere else I have decided to around this side particularly is get rid of the water and tile it up um, as it just makes a little bit of things a little bit awkward with the rest of the area tiled up it doesn't make sense um, unless I completely get rid of city gardens and make my own stuff what do you think that is one of my favorite build it I've got to kind of go right on a, a limb here and say that is my favorite building that I have ever owned so I will be keeping it a little bit longer but I'm not going to break my rules and have a Lego set in my building it's going to eventually go because everything is a mock 
and that isn't one of mine but it looks amazing it looks great so i'm going to keep it for as long as possible um, or at least until i have completed my police station possibly that little strip there and possibly at the back when i do wayne manor which is above the back cave um, then i might dismantle it i don't know tell me what you think should i or shouldn't i should i should i break my rule or should i stick to my principles and get rid of it anyway the uh, the space that i'm trying to make there is for the police station so just to give you a little bit of a, a look of what i've done so far here it is so i'm not too fond of that much blue i think it's too much when you look at it head on i think if you come around here it looks much better um, but i think from the directly up looking at it it's too much blue so i am going to uh fiddle around with it either put some windows in it i don't know or i might just put some uh, tiles going up it of a, a tan or dark tan color um, or i might have some setback areas i was thinking about let me just show you over here quickly um so if you you see the how it's um one brick coming out of tan color against the um medium nugget color which i think looks quite nice i might um, set it back i do have a ton of these one by two bricks i got them from um, the pick a brick wall when uh, we were allowed to go to the lego shop and do cool things uh, but now you know i'm utilizing them all i got two cups of it so i've got a load of them so i can afford to you do something with it i don't know tell me what you think i think i'm going to got enough bricks i've got enough blue bricks but i don't know if i've got enough tan bricks to go one more story higher so uh, but it's going the next floor is going to be smaller and where batman is uh, poised at the moment that's just going to be a little bit of a balcony i think i don't know yet i'm literally building it as i go I don't really know where I was going with it from the start. I started with a bush and just see where we end up. And literally just seeing what looks good, taking it down, adjusting, putting it back up, taking it down, adjusting, and so on. So hopefully next week I will have had done some major work on it. I've done the in the down start excuse me, I've done the ground floor um internals. I haven't done any of the others, so I um, need to work on that as well. It's the internals actually take longer than the actual building i think so thanks for watching appreciate uh, you getting this far let us know if you have any suggestions of how to improve the city uh, or whether you think uh, my plans are good if you th think they're not just let us know i'll try to implement them if they're good if they're not well i won't um, if you haven't already please subscribe give us a thumbs up and all that jazz and i will see you next week. Goodbye.